I'd like to introduce you to Kate de Camillo, wonderful author, um, elegant writer, beautiful sentences, but more than that, she's somebody who touches your heart. And these books are exciting to read, but they have a richness and a depth. You'll never be the same after reading The Tale of Despero. This is a mouse who is born with enormous ears and love in his heart. And he makes the mistake of going to talk to the princess. He's fallen in love with her. The mouse council are outraged and they send him down the stairs into the cellar. But in the darkness of the cellar, there is a rat. And it is a rat who wishes to come out of the dark up into the light. And I won't tell you any more, but this is a thrilling story. And the children will love the mouse. They will love him to bits and want him to succeed in the end. Trials, tribulations, adventure, excitement, and a fantastic uh, hero, a tiny sickly mouse who comes good in the end. The Tale of Despero. And this one, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. He is um, he's, uh, a toy and uh, he has really no heart at the beginning. He's loved by his owner's little girl and she loves him dearly, but he doesn't give any love back. And then he drops over the edge of a boat into the depths of the water, into the sea. And he goes through a series of adventures and gradually we start to like him because at the beginning he's not really very nice, but he begins to discover love. He begins to find feelings within him. And by the end of it, he is a transformed character. Read both of these books, in particular, The Edward Tulane, before you share it with the class. Uh, this is a moving book, and in the middle of it, there's a very, very sad moment. You'll want to judge whether or not this is right for the class. But all of the books I've read by Kate de Camillo, all of them are worth sharing at Key Stage 2. So here's a new author for you, a new great page-turner writer.